But you guys got another video. You should be doing this once you've updated Windows. Now, if you're happy with your version of Windows and you've updated it and you're not going to be rolling back and you're quite happy with the build that you've got, then you should do what I'm going to show you right here. The reason why is because there is a lot of junk that's left behind from a major feature update from Windows. Now, we talked about showing you how to do feature updates and how to update to the latest version 22H2. This also goes for any other type of update, whether you're running Windows 10 or Windows 11, you can use this method to remove uh, large files that can be left behind uh, by Microsoft once the rollback period has ended. Sometimes it doesn't do a good job at deleting the windows.old folder and this gets left behind. So again, uh, you should only really be doing this if you're quite happy with the update and you have no intentions of ever rolling back anyway. And you should take uh, precautions and measures before rolling out any sort of feature update on Windows anyway. So I tend to hold off for those updates. So now the reason why I say do this is because sometimes even after the 10 day period, if you never extended to the maximum of 60 days, sometimes when uh, Microsoft have gone past that threshold, it just doesn't delete the windows.old folder and it stays on your system. And this can then leave a big, large file taking up a big chunk of your space on your computer. So inside uh, the storage area, inside system storage, you can see storage sense here. And basically you'll see previous Windows installations and it is 22.9 gigabytes in size. Now, also, we have a bunch of other stuff in the recycle bin and the downloads folder. Be warned that this will remove all of the files in these locations. And if you do run this after the fact, you will not be able to roll back if you decided you wanted to do so after you've removed it, it because it removes the windows.old folder. But this is really for people that have gone past the uh, rollback period and basically Windows hasn't removed the windows.old folder. I've seen it before where they just stack up a bunch of windows.olds and they don't get deleted for some reason, and you can end up losing quite a lot of space. So by doing this, it actually does remove a lot of these files. Now, there is a way of doing this with other software once you've installed it. Uh, I'll show you that in a second. But if you are quite willing to run this program, you can see it does give you a warning it's saying warning about the downloads folder, but really my big concern would be the previous Windows installation folder, because this is where all of the previous versions of Windows are stored. So this is your rollback folder, basically. This is what it uses to roll back your PC if you're not happy with that latest Windows update. You can see it here inside your C drive. It's called Windows.old. So what you should be doing is uh, basically, if you want to keep the windows.old folder as well for a longer period, you can rename it as well and use that as a rollback. But let me just quickly uh, show you this. I'm going to let this run and this will then remove all of the uh, junk from the PC and it will also remove that big 22.9 gigabyte uh, storage there that is taken up and it will remove that from the PC and we'll claim that back. Now, a lot of people are running very small SSDs or NVMe drives, and basically this is gonna zap a lot of that storage space. So if you are happy, you can run the cleanup tool built in Windows and this will remove it for you. Now, I did mention about uh, software that you can use, and I prefer to use software, but although the uh, storage sense or uh, the system cleanup tool built in Windows does a pretty good job, and I think it's a massive improvement from uh, Microsoft to add this in your PC. Uh, I do prefer to use a, another piece of software, which is third party software called Bleachbit. And I'll share that in a second. You can see it's starting to purge all of your device driver packages that you've downloaded that are now finished with. And it will remove those from the computer as well. So bear that in mind. If you don't want those to go, then you'll need to make sure you move them to a new location because all of those driver packages you've been downloading, once it's installed them, it will still leave those on your system. And if you want to keep them, then you're best to move them to a new location or just um, check mark that type of location from 
uh, being cleaned. You can see the windows.old folder has now gone, and that means that you will not be able to roll back your version of Windows anymore. So bear that in mind as well. See Bleach Bit here. This is the program I'm talking about. I prefer to use this on my system. And again, this is a very powerful piece of software that does deep cleaning of your PC if you want it to, or just does a quick light spring clean of your files and removes all of the junk files from your PC. There's an installation file and there's also a portable file, depending whether you want to use the portable version or installation version. So I'm going to download the installer and basically click on this and I'll quickly get it installed on the system. I'm not going to go through too much on this in this video. I'll just quickly show you so you get an idea of what it looks like. And uh, you can do it for the main PC here, which is my main system, or you can do it for all users on uh, on the PC. So I'm going to quickly install this onto uh, the computer here. It does work with Linux as well. And we'll just quickly install it. You will see a black prompt box popping up here uh, when it's a installed version. It does take a bit of time to disappear. Do not close it. Just let it do its thing. And uh, once it's done installing, it will uh, remove this black prompt box when it's finished the installation process. You should see it just sort of disappear off the screen in a second. And it would then continue the installation. There we go. So once you've done that, click on Next and then click Run Bleach Bit Finish. And there we go. This will open up the program. And then what you need to do here is go up to the top left hand side, click on that button here, and this little menu will open. We're going to go Preferences here. And again, inside here, you've got a bunch of options here. I'm going to see Overwrite Contents of Files to Prevent Recovery. And again, you don't have to check mark that if you don't want to. And there's a bunch of other stuff in here. In the Custom section here, you can make some other options. But I'm going to put this Download and Update cleaners from the community and uh, once that's done we can close that off and then open it again and it will download that version from the community which is, adds a bunch of different options in there so let me just quickly go into my program section here go to bleach bit and then open this up now i want to open this up as administrator so right click more and then run as administrator here and once this is open you should see we do have it downloading the uh, winapp2.ini and that is now downloaded. They're all my selection. There's much more options available here. These are more advanced cleaning methods that you can use with this particular program. You can check mark the boxes to what you want to remove and leave the other stuff that you want to keep. So if there's a load of Adobe stuff you want to get rid of, you can do. If you want to keep that sort of stuff, then don't check mark it. Otherwise, it will remove everything if you check mark all. And you can see there's a bunch of temp files for all different browsers here and a bunch of different areas on the computer. If you want to see more on this, let me know in the comment section below. Also, I'll probably make a video if you want to see it on the top five best uh, PC cleaners. If you want to see that, let me know down in below. If not, I won't bother making it. Other than that, I think that's going to be about it for this video. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Just want to give a special shout out to RTX Brody, uh, Edward Kelly, Albert Hewson, Ron Hicks, Celtic Lad, PC Repair Tech, Vitality, P Phil's Computer Repair, Big Daddy, also Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, and Welsh Tony. I really do appreciate the support, guys, and I shall catch you in the very next video or see you on our Discord server. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.